Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. And uh, that is the fourth episode on pleasantness. And uh, today's episode is on giving people a second chance. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you to honor you, to give you praise and to give you glory. For you yourself has given each one of us another chance. Many times we fail you and continue failing you and continue doing things that are not right in your sight. But Father, you've always forgiven us and allowed us to continue in the journey and even have given us another chance. We pray that, Lord, that the heart that is in you, my Lord, is going to remain in us so that we can also be faithful in doing likewise in giving other people a second chance. We thank you, Lord, as we continue to dwell in you and dwell in your presence as we continue to honor you in our with our lives. For it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Well, um, we are giving people a second chance because maybe they have wronged us and uh, probably maybe what they've done we feel we don't want even to continue with them another in, in this journey. But God is so good to us because he has continued even for us. It's not that we've continued being so good. Remember from the time you gave your life to Jesus. And if you are not born again today, you need to give your life to Jesus because this might be probably the last chance that you have been given and been invited to give your life to Jesus. And we, we have seen that even for us since we were born again, we've continued to do things that do not glorify God, but God is so good. He has continued to show mercy on us and allowed us to live another time and even given us an opportunity to serve him. He is our good God and he is our example. Let's read Ephesians chapter 4 verses 31 to 32. It is really self-explanatory. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. You see, you're going to get rid of bitterness because you know what? Bitterness is going to harm you instead. And instead, allow others who have hurt you, hurt you and even caused you to be angry, those ones who have even uh, uh, been causing all these evil things around you, all those ones who have been malicious to you, just forgive them. And as you forgive them, you're forgiving them because even Christ God forgive us. In Christ our God forgive us. So let's because let's remember we are in Christ and in Christ our work is to forgive because even as we have been forgiven as we continue to ask God to give us mercies to show us mercy and in um, as you continue to to read um, because you know some people have you know when people are wronged some write people off completely. They don't even want to see them. And they are brethren. Just because maybe they did something, something, and maybe it's not as big as even comparing to the things you yourself have done. But some are not able to let go. But they continue harboring bitterness in their lives. Continue being so angry. And you know all these things, what is going to happen? They are not going to destroy the person who wronged you. But they are going to destroy you in the long last. And in, um, let's look at another verse. So, you know, when we continue to have people hurting us, sometimes many of us, we don't want to let go. But we have been, the Bible is emphasizing on us letting go and allowing God. Luke chapter 6 verse 35 to 36. But love your enemies and do good. Do you hear that? 
you love any your enemies. Imagine, you know that this person for sure, the thing they have done, you don't even want to mention it. But the Lord is asking us to forgive even those ones who have done to us things that we cannot even mention. We forgive. And what do we do? We love them. Love your enemies and do good. Don't just love them. But love becomes something when it is given. When you give something to someone and knowing that the thing you have given to this person, they don't really deserve it. In the eyes of God, they don't deserve it. But because you want to please our God Almighty, you want to walk in pleasantness, then you are going to love those enemies and at the same time do good to them and you are even asked to lend many of us you not want to lend someone whom you know they have wronged you and someone you know very well because of their lifestyle and their attitude they cannot even afford to pay but what is the bible telling us the bible is telling us that we are doing good and lending expecting nothing in return you are not expecting anything from them. You are not expecting anything at all. So you are lent, giving them and lending and allowing them to enjoy that which you have given them without all the time to letting them know, do you know you owe me? Do you know you owe me? You need to let go. And then expecting nothing in return. Don't expect to be paid back. And your reward will be great and you will be sons of the Most High. For he himself is kind to ungrateful and evil people. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Imagine, the Lord himself, he has been kind to us. And some of us have been ungrateful. They are not grateful at all. But our God has even continued to, to forgive us. Even for us who have been ungrateful and even those ones who have been evil, the Lord continues to forgive us and even do great things in our lives. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. If you want to copy anyone, whoever that you need to copy most and even foremost is God Almighty. Because when you copy what he's doing, then you'll be on the right track and you'll never Never be misled in following something that is not there. Then in Jude 1, 22 to 23, and you must show mercy to those who, whose faith is wavering. Rescue others by stand, snatching them from fires of ja, flames of judgment. Show mercy to still others, but do so with great caution hating the sins that contaminate their lives. So there are some people who have really, really entered into deep, deep things that are of sin or things that do not glorify God. God is telling us that these people, we know some of them, we need to be kind to them, the ones who have offended us. And we need to show mercy to them. And especially those ones who, whose faith is wavering. And, you know, we are able to tell that people are wavering in faith because they don't want the things of God. And we are told even as we are doing so, can we be make sure as we, as we, re, we rescue them and snatch them from the flames of judgment, you still need to know that we have to be cautious. You have to hate the sins that contaminate their lives so that you continue honoring God with your life. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to continue working in pleasantness and giving others a second chance. God bless you for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Mother to the Amazing Champions and Mother to the CMCs. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.